village in, in a little village in Arkansas. And she said, we are all children of God. When I found that there were people who were working to make a better world for all of us, who really looked beyond complexion and saw community, I thought, I want to be a part of that. I want to help make this a better world. I'm sorry that uh, racism is still alive and very unwell. I'm sorry. I do know we've come a long way, and we must say so. Our young people will be forced to ask, you mean to tell me, after the lives and deaths of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Medgar Abbas and, and the Kennedys and whites who meant right and meant well, you mean after their lives and death, we haven't gotten any further? Then why should I try? Because those people were bigger than life. So we have to tell the young people, yes, we have come far. Not nearly far enough, but we have come far. Uh, even 10 years ago, if anyone would have said there would be um, a black man and black woman and children and a black grandmother in the White House, there would be people who say never, never. So we have come far, and we must say so, and be grateful to our champions who brought us this far, encouraged us to be this far. We must not get careless. We must not start to think that we've come far and it's all over but the shouting. We can't do that, it's very dangerous. The truth is the work remains to be done. And fortunately, we have men and women who still want to see it done in difficult times. It's imperative that we have hero heroes. I have come to this place, to this life, to be of use. I will not be misused, I will not be abused, not willingly. But I will be abused. And so I think that uh, because I have given myself to you and uh, I have tried to be of use, I think that that's the reason you consider me a champion.